and this morning after six hours and five minutes of charging I started at um, 12 a.m. in the morning and the charge finished at six o'clock and now we are at the overpass and the battery has already 30 and 34 degrees so I don't think in these conditions the battery is actually cooling down anymore during the night holy crap inefficient so you come home you give the battery a rest for a couple of hours probably six six seven hours and then you recharge the battery again which heats it up well and then you start driving again to work so 34 degrees we already have one degree more and the cooling will kick in cooling has just kicked in the battery temperature is going down already by the way we've got um, five minutes to seven and uh, 25 degrees outside okay so i just arrived at work i turn on the climate control um, air condition is still running to cool the battery down and we've got 24 and 33 if we have a look at the battery map so the greener ones are the cooler ones and the yellow ones the more yellow the yellower yellowish are the hotter ones as you can see the fan sits in the front and the and the air condition as well and obviously the colder cells are in the back of the car not at the front so obviously it blows the air in the, into this um, cooling system and then it goes into the battery modules at the end of the car and then streams back to the front so that's my understanding how it works yeah guys let me know in the comments below if this is the same with your um, vehicle and um, if you have the same distribution of temperature in your battery. I would be interested in that. So we had minus 1.1 ampere hour while parking and battery temperature has risen to 36 degrees just while parking here. I didn't turn on the car in the lunch break. This is the first time uh, 4 p.m. turning it on 34, 36 degrees just parking. That is how warm the battery gets and as you can probably hear the air condition yeah, air condition kicks in straight away to cool the battery so all good <laughs> and the gate opens automatically how good is that okay guys so we are at home two kilometers left aircon is still running and battery temperatures are 22 and 36 have a look at the battery map again Oh, sh so battery map again we've got 14 degrees difference between the hottest and the coolest cell and as you can see the cooler ones are at the back of the car for some reason that is I don't know weird I think it's weird okay let's do some testing now so the um, battery cooling is still running here. I do need this one here. <clears throat> As you can hear from the car, that is the AC cooling for the battery. So we now turn off the car. And of course, cooling stops. Okay, let's just uh, turn on the EV charger. For a moment i even set it up to 15 amps so this is maximum okay 36 degrees battery temperature and we will see 2.5 3 kilowatts 3.4 kilowatts around and as you can hear there's no cooling if I turn on the car again the cooling kicks in straight away so it only kicks in when the car is in ready mode but not while I AC charging so this is maximum speed you can charge there's no cooling and I made this little video for you Peter <laughs> okay I just uh, turned down the EVSE to 6 amp again because I only charge on 6 amp overnight 
very slow charging. There's no need to charge with 15 amp overnight if you have 12 hours plus time anyway. So 6 amp for the win.